Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. It is Saturday, so it is grocery haul day, but today's grocery haul is really, really special. I actually went to three stores. My very, very first trip to Sam's Club, I did go ahead and join our local Sam's Club. I also went to Trader Joe's for the first time in probably a year because we don't have one very close to us, so I don't get to go very often, and it just made me so happy to finally get to go to Trader Joe's, and then I finished up the rest of my shopping at Walmart. So I have quite a big haul for you from three different stores. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I upload five videos per week. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, 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 highly recommend. And if you'd like to chat with me directly, I have one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, definitely come over, join us there. That's how you can keep up with me a little bit more day to day. So we've got a big grocery haul, let's jump in. I'm going to go ahead and break the grocery haul up into three parts. So I'll do a separate haul for each store. I know you guys appreciate when I break my grocery haul up by store so you know what products come from where. So we're gonna go ahead and start with an exciting haul from Sam's Club. So first up is my Sam's Club haul. So this is my first time going to Sam's Club. I signed up for a membership. It was only $45 for the year and then they gave me a $45 credit. So I got $45 off this order, which I thought was pretty great. There is a case of Diet Coke that we already put in the garage, but let me show you what else I picked up. First, I grabbed some Core Power Elite Protein Shakes. They didn't have the regular Fairlife shakes like I was hoping that they would. I think Costco may actually have them on and off, so I'll keep looking, but I did go ahead and pick up an eight pack of the chocolate. These have a little bit more calories and points, but they also have 42 grams of protein. So I thought on days that maybe I wouldn't have time for a morning snack, or it'd be a long time between my protein coffee and a meal, I could have one of these shakes instead. I also picked up the Quest peanut butter cups because let me just tell you how amazing these are. They taste just like Reese's peanut butter cups and they have 11 grams of protein. There's two cups per pack just like a Reese's but I usually only have one and I was so excited to see them there and they were such a better deal than buying in them individually in the store. I also picked up some pads because these are my favorite ones, the Always Radiant, and these were a great deal. Troy's soap that he really likes is the Dove, and Costco only has the regular unscented, and they actually have the cucumber one, cucumber and green tea, so I picked that up. Four Sisters Organic White Rice. This was a killer deal. It was $5 for the bag. You can't beat that for organic rice. I've been loving Kinder Seasoning, and they had the mother load at Sam's Club. I mean, at least 30 different Kinder Seasonings, but I controlled myself and just picked up one. I thought this would be so incredibly delicious on chicken. A pack of AAA batteries because we just got the, the most amazing salt and pepper shakers literally ever. So I shared those in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. You guys have to check them out. They are so awesome. And we needed batteries for those. I also grabbed some asparagus for us for dinners. We like to cook this on our Blackstone Grill. Having my in-laws over tonight for a little barbecue. So we'll barbecue up some asparagus. And then I did grab the sirloin beef hamburgers because we'll barbecue these for dinner tonight as well. These are nice big burgers. So perfect for barbecue season. This was such a great deal. This is the pepper turkey. It has a it has 12 grams of protein per serving, which is way better than the boar's head and less calories than the boar's head. So I don't know what they use in that one, but I was really excited to find this. And then I grabbed some uncured tur Canadian bacon just to have on hand. I like to make little breakfast sandwiches and things out of this. Super high in protein, low in calories, low in points. And then lastly, OMG, are these incredible. These are the Mexican street corn tortilla chips. These are so good. I mean, I cannot. You can see that they're already open. I'll actually show them to you guys because I ate a few of these on the way home. They are so incredibly good. They're kind of like a sweet, spicy, little bit of a kick. Oh, they're really, really good. They'd be so good dipped in guacamole. So I picked those up. They're limited time. They were like $3 for the bag. So that is everything that I grabbed at my very first trip to Sam's Club. And I have to say that I'm pretty happy that I joined the club. 
I was also so incredibly excited to make my first trip to Trader Joe's since leaving Washington, stocked up on some of my all-time favorites, grabbed some new things. It just really made my heart happy to go to Trader Joe's, so let me show you what I picked up. I grabbed a few side things for mainly Troy, but sometimes I eat them as well. He really likes the fettuccine Alfredo, and this just makes such an easy side. So if I'm watching my carbs for dinner or wanting to have a little bit lower carb meal, I'll skip these pasta sides, but they're really easy for me to cook up quickly for him. And then I also grabbed the ricotta and spinach filled ravioli. This is really, really good. Highly recommend. I'm wanting to make some smoothies and protein shakes, you know, icy ice creamy shakes since it's so hot here. So I picked up a pack of the wild blueberries. You guys know that these are one of our favorite things. These are the little mini French baguettes. They're basically like a breadstick, but they are so good and they're the perfect side with spaghetti or a pasta night. So I grabbed one packet. The mango tangerine seasonal candle was in store and this smells so good. So fruity and fresh. And then of course, I never go to Trader Joe's without buying fresh flowers. And I thought these yellow ones were just bright and sunny and perfect for my kitchen island. I also picked up a gallon of 1% milk for Troy. And then this was a seasonal item as well. These are the strawberry lemonade Jojo. I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty delicious. So I went ahead and grabbed a box since they are seasonal. And honestly, I don't know when I'll get back to Trader Joe's. Some English muffins for Troy because he's really been liking having these for breakfast. And I bought some Canadian bacon, so I thought we could use those to make breakfast sandwiches. Another thing from Trader Joe's I love are the turkey corn dogs. I throw these in my air fryer and they taste like fair fried corn dogs. They're so, so good. I actually probably should have picked up a couple of boxes, but I just grabbed one. Some dog treats. I usually pick those up as well when I go. These are just the assorted treats and then these little better than leftovers. My dogs really like these. They're a little soft pellet treat. It's a collection inspired by your dinner table. So roast beef, gravy, cheese, sweet potato, and apple pie flavored. So I thought that these would be a couple of nice treats for the dogs. I also picked up the Trader Joe's organic marinara. You know that but I love Rayos and I usually buy Rayos at Costco. This marinara is actually less points if you do count points for that sauce equally as good ingredients and substantially less. It's $2.50 at Trader Joe's versus five to $6 per jar at Costco and about $10 per jar at like Sprouts or Whole Foods. So whenever I go to Trader Joe's, I just grab a jar just to have on hand. And then I also picked up a couple cans of sliced black olives. We love to put that in tacos and spaghetti. A box of macaroni and cheese for Troy. Again, another quick, easy lunch for him. Also, he loves and I love the frozen and hash browns from Trader Joe's. You guys, I shared a little trick with you guys. You can put these in your toaster and they come out nice and crispy. And I love to make avocado toast with these. Add an avocado, some eggs, some cheese. Such a good breakfast. And then I picked up not one, but two jars of onion salt because this is my all time favorite seasoning from Trader Joe's. I love it on eggs. It is so incredible on eggs. So I grabbed two again, just because I don't know how long till I'll get to go back. And then I grabbed some oats. I've also been loving protein oatmeal. I shared a a really good recipe with you guys in Wednesdays what I eat in a day so if you miss that definitely definitely check it out that's been my favorite favorite breakfast so I grabbed some more oats and I was excited to find this this is the peanut butter protein granola you guys know I love adding granola on top of yogurt and because it has added protein it just amps up the protein in the yogurt and I thought peanut butter sounded really good. I usually only do a tablespoon or two, so I'm not even doing a full serving, just enough to add some crunch. These are one of Troy's favorite chips from Trader Joe's, the organic dippers, better than Fritos. Hands down better than Fritos, so I picked up a bag. And I love the Jarlsberg light cheese. It's only 50 calories a slice, and it is not a thin slice. It is a normal sized cheese slice, and it's so good. This is another thing I always like to pick up there. And then last but not least, I grabbed some more raspberries because I've been eating a lot of raspberries lately. I've been really into berries in general, and these were actually cheaper at Trader Joe's than they were at Sam's Club. So that's everything that I picked up from my little trip to Trader Joe's. Again, it just made me so happy to finally get to go back and pick up some goodies. And finally, here is what I picked up for the week from Walmart. So let's jump into the Walmart haul. 
I did decide to grab the Sara Lee brioche buns for my in-laws coming over on Saturday. We're celebrating Father's Day and just having them over for a barbecue on our new grill. So I grabbed some really nice buns for that. A couple of cans of sliced mushrooms. This is for a dinner recipe and it was cheaper to buy two smaller cans than one big can, go figure. I also need some Uncle Ben's long grain wild rice. This is for a dinner recipe that you guys will actually be seeing in my next What I Eat in a Day. So stay tuned after the grocery haul for what's on the menu for dinner and meal prep on Monday. Some sliced Swiss cheese. This is for a dinner recipe. And then I also picked up some of the butter rolls. Troy doesn't really like the Hawaiian rolls, so I thought that I would just save the sugar that's in those and grab the sweet buttery rolls. If you didn't guess between the cheese and the rolls, I'm making sliders for a dinner this next week. I also needed a can of cream and mushroom soup for a dinner recipe. And I really, really like the healthy request. I find that the flavor is really good. It tastes closest to regular soup, much better than the fat-free version. So if you can find the healthy request, I highly recommend that. And then I did grab two cans of no salt added cut green beans for the dogs. We give them green beans instead of table scraps when we eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, whenever we eat a meal, and they love having green beans. I needed some unsweetened applesauce. This is for my meal prep. And then Troy requested baked beans. I don't know if we'll have these for the barbecue on Saturday, if he just wanted these as a side for him. So I went ahead and picked up just the original Bush's baked beans. I have a few yogurts in my fridge, but I really eat yogurt most days of the week. So I picked up two more just to round it out for this next week. So I grabbed the Oikos Triple Zero in lemon tart and the banana cream. You guys were right, the banana cream is so good, especially with granola on it. It kind of reminds me of like a banana cream pie dessert, delicious. And then quite a bit of produce. So I have four ears of corn and I have a funny story on the corn. So I was looking for the pre-packaged, pre-pilled, ready-to-go corn in the produce section at Walmart and I asked one of the workers there and she said that they didn't have the pre-peeled corn. Let me turn you around. So she said they didn't have the already peeled corn. They either had the frozen already peeled corn or just the regular corn. And I was like, oh darn, I didn't want to buy the regular corn that I had to husk myself because I hate doing that. It makes such a mess and I can never get all the little like hairs out of the corn. And she offered while I finished my shopping to do it for me. So I was able to buy the really inexpensive corn and she shucked it for me, removed everything, threw it all away, chopped it off the ends for me. So, so nice and I thanked her like six times. So if you're like me and you hate shucking corn but you don't wanna buy frozen corn, just ask and if you get a really nice person like I did at Walmart, they ch chances are they may even do it for you. So that sweet lady saved me lots of time and I was able to pick up my corn. And I did grab two two pound bags of peaches. This is for my meal prep. I'm so excited for the dessert that I'm making and I needed lots and lots of peaches for it. I also grabbed two huge packs of strawberries. I am making a fruit salad for when my in-laws come over. My in-laws are very healthy, especially my mother-in-law, and I know that they are big fruit eaters. So I have a watermelon, a honeydew melon, and some strawberries, and I'm gonna throw together a quick healthy fruit salad. And then I needed strawberries for my meal prep as well. And then last but not least, a huge bag of yellow onions that we're gonna grill up on our Blackstone Grill. It makes the best grilled onions ever so that we can top our burgers with those. And we know that onions shrink down to nothing. So last time I did almost an entire bag. So we'll probably end up just sauteing this entire bag of onions. So that is everything that I picked up from Walmart for the week. So let's jump into what's for dinner and the recipes you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. So here's what is on my menu for the week. So tonight, Saturday, like I mentioned, we're having my in-laws over for a barbecue. I'm really excited. Sunday I'm making instant pot cream of mushroom chicken and rice. You guys will actually see this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. I have heard this is amazing. I cannot wait. Monday we'll do leftovers because chances are we'll have quite a bit left over from the barbecue and then the instant pot recipe. My husband requested Taco Tuesday, so we're gonna do some tacos. Wednesday I'll be making those turkey sliders. Thursday is a sloppy Joe night, once again, per his request. And then Friday, we'll finish up all the leftovers from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. You're not gonna wanna miss this week's meal prep. For breakfast, I am making strawberry oatmeal bars. These are like those raspberry oat bars you can buy in the bakery that are really high in calories, points, and sugar. We're making WW-friendly, macro-friendly bars. 
For lunch, I'm doing garlic butter chicken meatballs. This sounds so good. And then for dessert, I'm gonna make a peach crisp because I know my husband will absolutely love this as well. So definitely stay tuned for Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three stores, lots of new food finds, lots of great finds at these stores. And I'm definitely going to incorporate Sam's Club and Trader Joe's into my hauls more regularly because I really enjoyed going to both stores. So if you enjoyed this grocery haul, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because we do a grocery haul every Saturday and I do upload five videos per week. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And last but not least, come on over, join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye.